Prosecutors getting ready to finish up their case against Elizabeth Holmes, the founder of the failed blood testing company Theranos. And Scott Cohn joins us now with where things stand in the trial. Hey, Scott. Hey, Joe. Federal prosecutors have been laying out their case for 11 weeks now that Elizabeth Holmes lied to investors, doctors, and patients about the technology she claimed could conduct a full range of tests on a tiny sample of blood. The 29th and fi apparently final government witness is Fortune magazine writer Roger Parloff, who wrote a glowing cover story about Holmes back in 2014. Uh, Turns out that Parloff recorded many of his conversations with Holmes for that story, including when he asked Ther if Theranos could really perform the same tests on a few drops of blood that competitors needed a whole vial for. Does your platform uh, replace all of those? Um, our, our platform can um, yield... It, 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 um, let me think of the best way to say this. We can do all of those tests. Mm -hmm. um, so um, we can provide data back to clinicians for, for all the same tests. That, prosecutors say, was a lie. Theranos insiders have testified the device could only perform a handful of tests and often got them wrong. Parloff will be back on the stand for cross-examination today when court resumes in a few hours. Uh, then it's the defense's turn. How will they counter the government's case? Will Elizabeth Holmes herself take the stand? We may be about to find out. Joe? Still a careful answer, kind of, the way I heard it. Is it yeah, we can uh, provide data about all that. None of it's real, but we can provide. You can't believe the amount of data we can provide uh, from our single drop. Of, right. She didn't say we can provide real data that's, that's true and that, that actually, uh, did, wasn't she very guarded and careful the way she's, I, I just wonder if she knew at that time that it was just a crock. Well, that's what the government has to prove, that as she was telling not just journalists, but also investors, that she knew that it didn't work. And the prosecutors and, and some of these Theranos insiders have said yes. And interesting, Roger Parloff did a lengthy correction about a year later, after the Wall Street Journal came out with its, its damning articles about Theranos. And he said Elizabeth Holmes Theranos misled me, and he specifically says she didn't lie but yeah. that uh, those Smooth. issues, those particular questions about how many tests could they perform, yeah. um, she definitely obfuscated. We'll right. We can provide data on all those tests, Scott.